Hi, I'm Brad Cox with BradCoxWorkshops.com. Today I want to combine a couple questions, and they're software questions. Photographers have asked me, what do I use for my calendar program? And another photographer asked me, what do I use for sales? And then people have asked, what do I use for accounting? So let's go through those really quickly. And before we get into those, let me just uh, remind everybody that I have on my website, BrightCoxWorkshops.com, full long courses on what I think are the biggest building blocks on being a, a great uh, professional photographer. Things like lighting, posing, uh, the whole digital workflow, and on the business end, we have the whole sales and other things as well. Things like uh, painting, creating art uh, in, in Photoshop, and also a uh, whole video workflow. But one aspect of the business that we don't really talk about in those long full courses is just some of the things like what software do you use? And I actually do in my uh, sales presentation, I talk about what sales uh, software I use. Let's talk about Calendar first because there's a lot of pro uh, software companies that promote at conventions and events and they're like, hey, you got to use our software because we can do all this stuff with your scheduling of events and stuff. And so the people ask me, like, well, what do you use? Do you use, it? Do you use this company? And I'll tell you right now who I use. Shh, America, shh. I use a calendar software made by probably the biggest company in the world, Apple. <laughs> it just comes free on my phone. And guess what's so great about it? Is that I don't have to pay a subscription fee. I don't have to pay all this money to make it work. Uh, and guess what? I enter an appointment here, it shows up on any one of my Macs throughout my house. It shows up on my watch. If I want to get directions to my location, <laughs> I can just tap it on my watch. I get directions, it just works with it. The nice thing about having something like, say, <laughs> Apple calendars is it just works. And it's constantly being updated and it just is, one, free, and two, way better than all this other stuff I feel like that people are selling and pushing. And, uh, I guess one of the advantages, I guess, that people, they say, well, if you use our software, multiple people can, uh, you know, uh, submit, you know, you can have like your assistant type in things. And it's like, but I can do that at home too. Like, right, I can enter an appointment on my laptop and it shows up on my great big screen and it shows up on my iPad and it shows up. So, I don't know, I don't quite get, with <laughs> I guess the thing, they say, yeah, you can add notes. I can add notes. I've got notes because, I mean, I started on a Palm Pilot. Palm Pilot. I don't know if you guys remember that. It was kind of like an iPhone, but not at all. And, and, and you could add notes. And guess what? I can go back and I can look up all those appointments from whenever those years were. I don't even remember the, the, the dates anymore. But I can look up, right? You can add notes. I can add websites, all sorts of stuff. And so let's say it's a wedding. I'll add notes. I'll add the bride's name, the groom's name. Uh, the number of people in each of their families so that I know when I'm building family groups where what kind of a spot I need. I'll add the locations, the times, uh, what they're doing, any special notes if the bride's like, you know, I really got to make sure I get a picture with my whatever, this friend or aunt or whatever. There's like, they're so important to me in my life and this is one of the most important people. Great, I make a note of that. And then at the wedding, I'm reviewing those notes and it's right there on my phone. So, okay, so calendar, Apple calendar, easy. <laughs> totally easy. Okay, what was the other one? Um, sales software. So I use, and this also comes because there's some programs out there that are kind of expensive. And here's my one. It's kind of nice having some of these programs because uh, I believe in sailing, uh, sell, selling, sailing, <laughs> selling off of a projector, right? Seeing those images great big in your presentation room because the nice thing about that big is. People always want something for the wall, hopefully. Hopefully that's how you're selling. Uh, but they, everyone always wants something nice. Give them a disc isn't quite, that's not great, what are you gonna do with that? You gotta go to Costco and figure it out, right? You're the consultant, we talk about this in sales. You put it on the wall, you can then size that exact image and it's not a guess. It's not looking at the prices and trying to figure out what size you actually want. Let's just see what size you like, move it up and down. So people have developed software for this and some of it's kind of expensive and it does a lot of things which I don't think are necessary. I think some of these things have been taken out over the years, but one is it constantly keeps a total down the side of the screen of what they're ordering. And that, that, think about this. If you go to say a furniture store and you know you need like a new leather couch, maybe an ottoman or whatever, I don't know, whatever you're looking for, 
you don't go in and say, I want, hmm, I like that couch. And they're like, it's a great couch. $4,500. All right, what else would you like? And then they say, oh, and by the way, with tax, it's, you know, 47, blah, 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 blah. You're like, oh, okay. And I kind of like this ottoman. Oh, great. It's a great ottoman. $1,500. We're now at $6,000, da, 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 da. What else would you like? Like, you don't have a running total. If I go to Costco <laughs> and I got the great big oversized cart, because they don't have small carts for single guys, I got the great big oversized cart. I don't go, oh, I need this thing. And then the cart just goes, bring, bring, bring. You now spent $300, then I add something to the card, it goes bling, bling, bling. And they, for some reason, people think this projection software is going to be great if it just constantly shows how much people are spending. It's like, no, you know it's going to be a little higher by the time you add it all up, and then we can make an adjustment. So I feel like one's a bad thing. So what I like for sales software is nothing. I don't want tools. I don't want junk. I don't want things to read. I just want pictures. One picture at a time, if I can put two or three pictures up at a time, if I can zoom in, zoom out on faces. And I don't mean like, like have to crop or do anything fancy to zoom. I mean just zoom in on that face, zoom in on that face, make sure eyes are open, people are smiling. So that if mom says, well, I don't know if my son is smiling. Like, yeah, they're smiling. I don't know if he is. Zoom in, see, zoom out, easy. So I use an old program. They don't sell it anymore, but I think someone's bought it and someone else has bought it. It's called iView. This is a basic little program for, uh, for basically putting images on a big screen. Works great. Um, and I show in my sales, uh, uh, what is it, my sales uh, full, my full DVD course, my uh, online streaming course, which is about six hours, how to use that software, how I would use it, but also how to use things like, you might already have like Bridge or even Lightroom, right? You don't really need anything fancy. It's gonna be more your sales tact and not the software that's going to, to make the difference. And so the last thing, um, sales software, calendar, uh, accounting. People ask what kind of accounting software? Guess what? Because yeah, again, there's people at conventions selling accounting software. I just use QuickBooks. Why QuickBooks? Because that's what every accountant likes. <laughs> and when they go, send me your reports. Great, deet, 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 deet. send it off, it's easy. Don't have to worry about anything, it's just easy. So yeah, don't make life complicated. Realize that photography in the world of business is a very small thing and people are always trying to make stuff to sell to just us. But guess what, there's a whole world of business and people doing a lot of similar things. Bigger companies like say QuickBooks that are already have software available. So, and then a lot of stuff like Bridge, you probably already have Bridge if you have Photoshop, right? You don't need to be buying lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff and have lots of subscriptions throughout the month. The idea is to keep your costs low and get your prices up. All right, you guys, uh, check out my full week, or not, my full uh, courses on my website, Bry Cox Workshops, B-R-Y-C-O-X workshops.com. Send me any questions you have, and until next time, America.